cycle here in my absolute all-time favorite sweater to talk to you today about limit screws. Limit screws are found on both the rear and front derailleur and as the name suggests limit the parameters of the derailleur how far down or up it can go. So before we get into the limit screws it's important that you remember limit screw adjustments don't mean a diddly unless your hanger is straight. So to check out our video on that, click the link up here. So as you can see on this rear derailleur, there are two limit screws. There's the high H and low L. High is for your hardest gear, high hard, and L is for your easiest gear, light. So we know that the hanger is straight. Now we can start with the high limit adjustment for this gear here. We've purposefully set it a little bit too tight to give you an example of, of what it will sound like and look like for when your limit screw is in too far. So you can see that the jockey wheel is not quite sitting down below the cog perfectly and you're getting that noise like you're sitting between two gears. So what we want to do is we want to loosen the limit screw so that the derailleur will fall down into gear more. And we're going to go quarter to an eighth at a turn at a time. And right now that's giving us no noise. So let's just check. That seems to be falling into gear nicely. So here we have a situation where the low limit screw is in too far and as you can see we're currently in our second easiest gear shifting to our easiest and it's and the derailleur won't make the jump so that means that the limit screw is limiting is in too far and is limiting the derailleur from going up all the way so again we want to undo the limit screw we're going quarter half turns at a time and now it's sitting nicely. So we'll shift between those two gears. And what we can do to test to make sure that we haven't undone it, undone the low limit screw too far, is we can actually, with our hand, just push on that derailleur, pushing it up. And we're gonna do this carefully so that no, no derailleur goes into the spokes. And right now it's looking like it's good. It's not gonna go too far. So we have our derailleur limits set. Fun fact, I have seen real hyenas in the Kruger National Park, South Africa, no big deal. So the front derailleur, as we discussed earlier, also has limit screws and they work the exact same way. The one thing to remember though, is when you are setting the limit screws for the front derailleur, to make sure that when you're setting the high limit screw, that you're in your hardest gear. And when you're setting your low limit screw, that you're in your easiest gear. So when you're setting the limit screws on the front derailleur, you can start with the low limit screw. So set your gears in the easiest on the front and the easiest on the back. And then you can undo the low limit screw once you stop hearing the grinding noise and you start to see a, a small gap appear between the inside of the derailleur cage and the chain and you don't hear any rubbing, you know it's set. And then when we want to do the high limit screw, we're gonna shift the rear derailleur down to the hardest gear on the back and hardest gear in the front. And same thing, right now the limit screw is set properly, but if it were too tight, we would hear rubbing and we would just want to undo the high limit screw to the point where we don't hear any rubbing. Thanks for watching our video on limit screw setting. I hope you guys found it informative. If you're still having issues setting your derailleurs, make sure you check out our video on barrel adjusters to get that final tune dialed in. All right, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to hammer that like button and subscribe because we've got more coming to you. Thank you very much.